Are you guys excited to share this one with you? This is the Longines Conquest Sunray Auto Chronograph. And I gotta say, right out of the gate, huge fan of this. Probably as far as like heavy duty sports chronographs, I have to say this is probably one of the best options out there. There's a lot to choose from, from a lot of other big brands, you know, like the uh, the Tudors and the Breitlings and um, there's great movements in those. Um, and then there's, you know, there's a bunch of other ones too. But at this level, at this price point, because this is like around $3,600, um, I think this is an excellent option to to take a look at for sure because it has the look, it has the, the quality, and it has a great automatic movement. So before we get started on the size of the watch, I have to say big thanks to Exquisite Time Pieces down in Naples, Florida. They are the authorized dealer that I prefer for Longines. And they have like over 60 other brands they're authorized dealer for. So quite, quite the stack of brands and options when you go to their website, which I'll put a link in the description down below, as well as direct contact information. So you can reach out to my, my buddy there, Tyler, and just tell him I sent you. Now let's get into this guy. So here's the hang tag. There's a big long part number. I'll put a direct link down below as well. Hey, SI. Um... That stands for silicone, the hairspring. So a uh, 42 millimeter wide case. The lug to lug is a 50 millimeter. You can see this end link, the way they uh, featured it with the rubber, um, just drops off immediately. So it's gonna be a true size, 42 by 50. And that works on my wrist and it works on a lot of other people's wrist for sure. I think it might work on yours. The thickness, 14.67. Yeah, it's thick. It's an automatic chronograph. You're not gonna get them much thinner than that. The lug opening here is 22 millimeter, and then this rubber strap tapers down to about 18. You have a really nice, simple fold over clasp. No problems there. You just go ahead and do that. And then I don't think it does anything else. Oh, that's not true. It does have a little trick up its sleeve. I believe you hit this button here, and then you have some micro adjust. So, um, micro adjust with the holes actually being pretty close on this, you're going to get a good fit. So not a problem there either. It gets quite a bit of throw actually because there's two holes there. So you have that whole piece right here that is your adjustability. So very good feature to have on this thing for sure. And then you have an eight millimeter screw down crown that is signed that gives you, again, a more robust feeling and it is super sturdy. You know, it's a hackable movement so it stops the seconds hand, which is at the three o'clock position. You can see that you're running seconds and then you have your Looks like 12 hour register at the six o'clock and then your 30 minute register at the nine o'clock. So why don't we go ahead and start that chronograph while we're talking about it. I typically start that before that. And then you have that ceramic bezel insert with a tachymeter scale on that. Slab sided, polished, brushed up top. Nice contrast with that sunray, golden sunray dial with the black sub-register, just a beautiful watch. It's it's such an iconic design. That's why, you know, whoever started it, I really don't care. The fact that so many brands lay them out like this just works. Just like a lot of dive watches are laid out very similar. Um, it's because it's a recipe for success. It just, it appeals to us for whatever reason because our monkey brains work that way and it just looks great. So if we do a close-up of the dial there, you can see really nice applied indexes. And then you do have little loom plots inboard of those. And then you have a little strip of loom on those diamond cut rhodium, probably, I'm assuming, and polished handset. Very clean, minimal text. Swiss made, of course, down at the six o'clock position. Integrated into that track there with the minutes or seconds. And then if we take a look at the movement, we do have a display case back, so that's nice. And this rubber is so flexible and thin, I can actually move it out of the way. So we get a full view there. So you do have a, a nice custom rotor showing off the movement, which is, or the movement number, which is an L898.5. Carries about a 59 hour power reserve, beats at four hertz. And overall is just a, a really good performing movement. So there you can see that that's the container there for the mainspring. Then you have some other gear train you can see, and then of course the escapement. Beautiful watch. Now, if we go ahead and stop the chronograph and hit the reset button, everything just snaps back 
right away. Now let's pop this on my 7.25 inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. If you're in the market for a chronograph, or I do know people that collect chronographs almost exclusively, I think you really should look at this. I think for a luxury chronograph automatic watch, you'd be hard pressed to kind of beat up on this guy. Like this has got a lot of good looking stuff and it's extremely comfortable. You can get it on bracelet. I tend to think it just feels and looks and wears more sportier on the rubber strap. I would be more inclined to get this one on the rubber strap. I like the black, ties with the black ceramic and the black sub dials. It just works really good. Plus you have this guy here, which, you know, like I said, adjust. And when it's on the wrist, you just push this guy here, which pushes on that inner thing that I showed you. And you can just adjust it even when it's on your wrist real easy. So very cool watch, really cool uh, clasp system. So you can see that right there lines up and pushes on that. And then it just moves. So let me give it a quick blast with the UV light. Again, big thanks to the entire crew at Exquisite Time Pieces. I very much, I typically don't look forward to winter, but these days I do look forward to the cold season because it's usually my excuse to uh, take a little escape down to the Naples, Florida area and visit all my good friends at Exquisite Time Pieces. And of course, you know, look at all the watches. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next bit.